Have you ever wondered what it takes to become a true Stoic? What secrets do they hold close to their heart? Stoicism, a philosophy born in the bustling markets of ancient Greece, continues to influence modern minds. It's a philosophy not just of deep contemplation, but also of practical action. It teaches us to remain steady in the storm of life, to harness the power of self-control and to value wisdom above all else. But becoming a true Stoic isn't just about reading and understanding the works of Marcus Aurelius or Zeno. It's a personal journey, an adventure, if you will, that demands a certain level of introspection and discretion. It's about stoically navigating the turbulent seas of life, keeping your compass pointed towards wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. There are 15 secrets, 15 things that a true stoic always keeps private. These secrets are not meant to be hidden out of fear or shame, but rather they are held close to the heart as a part of the stoic's journey towards self-improvement. They don't speak ill of themselves for they understand that negative self-talk only serves to undermine self-esteem and hinder personal growth. They don't boast about their self-improvement, instead they let their actions speak louder than their words. They embrace moderation, especially when it comes to eating and drinking, and they listen more than they speak, following the wisdom of Zeno, who famously said that we have two ears and one mouth, for a reason. They practice living in the present, controlling their reactions to reduce unnecessary stress. They express gratitude for their blessings, fostering positive relationships and an appreciative environment. They avoid complaining, understanding that it's counterproductive and brings unnecessary negativity into their lives. But these are just a few of the secrets we are about to explore. So are you ready to embark on this journey of self-discovery and growth? Come. Let's dive into the world of Stoicism. To begin our journey, we need a mentor, and who better than the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius? As we delve into the world of Stoicism, it's essential to understand its core principles. Originating from ancient Greece and later adopted by the Romans, Stoicism is a philosophy of personal ethics that teaches the development of self-control and fortitude as a means to overcome destructive emotions. It encourages us to accept and deal with reality as it is, not as we wish it to be. Our guide on this journey, Marcus Aurelius, was not just a philosopher, but an emperor. He was one of the most respected emperors in Roman history and a leading figure in Stoicism. His writings, often penned in the stillness of night while managing the affairs of the empire, provide us a glimpse into his Stoic practices. Marcus Aurelius believed in the power of the mind he taught that we have the capacity to shape our perceptions, to harness our thoughts and emotions. He wrote, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. The understanding that while we cannot control everything that happens to us, we can control how we respond. Stoicism also champions the principle of living in accordance with nature. This doesn't mean retreating to a forest but rather understanding our place in the universe and acknowledging the natural flow of life. It's about accepting the impermanence of things and the perpetual change that defines existence. Relevance irrefutable. In today's world where we are constantly bombarded with information and often feel like we're at the mercy of external circumstances, Stoicism provides a grounding perspective. It helps us to focus on what truly matters to differentiate between what's in our control and what's not, and to approach life with a sense of calm and resilience. Now that we have our mentor, let's step into the world of Stoicism. We will explore further how these principles can be applied in our daily lives, helping us to navigate through life's ups and downs with grace and equanimity. Taking the first step is always the hardest, but the rewards are worth it. Now let's dive into the initial three things that you should keep private to become a true Stoic. Firstly, negative self-talk. This is a pitfall many of us slip into, often without even realizing it, undermining ourselves, we become our own worst enemy. But imagine if we could silence this inner critic. Marcus Aurelius, the great Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor once said, reject your sense of injury and the injury itself disappears. By refusing to speak ill of ourselves, we start to see our own potential and our self-esteem flourishes. But it's not just about silencing negative chatter. The second thing to keep private is your journey of self-improvement. While it's natural to want to share our progress, the Stoics believed in letting actions speak louder than words. 
Marcus Aurelius reminded us, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. So, rather than boasting about our growth, we should let our actions reveal our progress and who knew the quiet confidence that comes from this can be truly empowering. Lastly, let's talk about gluttony. It's easy to think of gluttony in terms of food and drink, but it extends to all areas of life where excess can creep in. The Stoics embraced moderation, believing that it led to harmony and success. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Be content with what you have. Rejoice in the way things are. When you realize there is nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you. By avoiding gluttony, we can find contentment and balance. These are the first steps on our Stoic journey, and while they may seem challenging, remember Marcus Aurelius's words, the obstacle is the way. Each challenge we face is an opportunity for growth, a chance to become stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Having taken our first steps, let's move forward on our journey. As we journey on, we will face challenges, but remember, every challenge is an opportunity for growth. Challenges often present themselves when there's a disconnect between our words and actions. This is why it's crucial to remember not to be a big mouth. The ancient Stoic philosopher Zeno advised us to listen more than we speak. He believed that we have two ears and one mouth for a reason. Our words should not outpace our deeds. Actions, after all, speak louder and are far more revealing than mere words. And speaking of actions, it's essential to focus on the here and now. The future is a canvas of infinite possibilities, a maze of paths not yet taken. While it's tempting to get lost in the labyrinth of what-ifs and could-bes, the Stoic philosophy urges us not to be too focused on the future. Why fret over something that's yet to come and is largely out of our control? Let's instead concentrate on the present moment where our actions can make a tangible difference. By doing so, we can reduce unnecessary stress and truly experience life as it unfolds. But what of the good things that life presents to us? How often do we stop to appreciate them? The Stoics believed in the importance of gratitude. They didn't advocate for a life devoid of joy or pleasure, but rather one that acknowledges and appreciates the simple blessings. Therefore, ingratitude has no place in our journey. By expressing gratitude for the things we have, we foster positive relationships and create an appreciative environment around us. As we traverse this path, we may stumble, falter, and even fall. But in each of these moments, remember that every challenge is an opportunity for growth. Zeno did not become a Stoic by merely voicing his philosophy. He lived it. Marcus Aurelius didn't just dream of a future. He shaped it through his actions. And they certainly did not take their blessings for granted, but appreciated them for what they were. Gifts of the universe. Challenges overcome, let's continue on our journey. As we embrace Stoicism, we start to see the world in a new light a light that shines on the path of self-improvement, inner peace and true fulfillment. Stoicism, in its essence, teaches us to live in the present, to control our reactions and to reduce unnecessary stress. Take, for instance, the act of complaining. It's easy to grumble about the weather, a late bus or a difficult colleague, but what does this achieve? In the grand scheme of things, very little. Complaining is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it doesn't get you anywhere. Stoics understand this and choose to focus instead on things within their control, cultivating a mindset of acceptance and tranquility. Now let's talk about mistakes. We've all made them and they can haunt us, taking up precious mental real estate. But here's the thing. The past is set in stone. It's unchangeable. Stoics comprehend this truth and make a conscious decision not to dwell on past errors. Instead, they learn from them, using these experiences as stepping stones towards personal growth. Moving on to our thoughts, our inner sanctum, in a world that incessantly demands us to share, Stoicism advocates for discretion. Not every thought needs to be aired. Some are best kept within, creating a private space for introspection and self-understanding. This practice helps maintain inner peace and avoid unnecessary conflicts. These three facets, not complaining, not dwelling on past mistakes, and not revealing every thought, are interconnected. They all hinge on the stoic practice of living in the present, focusing on what can be controlled and letting go of what can't. Stoicism is not merely a philosophy, it's a way of life. And as we journey down this path, we discover that the real treasure lies not in external validation or material possessions, but in the richness of our inner world. With this new perspective, let's delve deeper into the Stoic way of life. Every journey has a turning point. This is ours. 
We've journeyed far, but now we must focus inward on the tranquility of our own minds. The Stoics taught us that the path to inner peace is often through privacy. So let's delve into the next three things you should always keep private. First, resist the urge to seek validation from others. It's tempting to crave applause, to want your actions to be acknowledged and praised. But Stoicism teaches us that true fulfillment is an inside job. It's about acknowledging your own worth, about finding satisfaction in your own progress. It's not about the applause, it's about the journey. True validation, after all, comes from within. Next, let's talk about gossip. It's a tantalizing trap, isn't it? But Stoics knew better. They believed in respecting the privacy and dignity of others, in refraining from spreading rumors or negative talk. After all, gossip doesn't just harm others, it harms us too. It distracts us from our journey, from our pursuit of virtue. So let's choose silence over slander, respect over rumors. Finally, avoid comparing yourself to others. It's a game you can't win. There will always be someone smarter, richer, more successful. But stoicism isn't about being better than others. It's about being better than you were yesterday. So focus on your own journey, your own progress. Measure yourself not against others, but against your past self. These three principles, seeking validation from within, refusing to engage in gossip, and focusing on your own journey rather than comparing yourself to others, they're not just rules, they're a path, a path to inner peace and self-validation. And it's a path that's uniquely yours. Remember, stoicism is a journey, not a destination. It's about the steps we take, the choices we make. It's about finding inner peace in a world that's often chaotic and confusing. It's about living in accordance with nature and virtue. Having faced our crisis, let's see what treasures we can find. The rewards of Stoicism are not material, but they are more valuable than gold. In the realm of Stoicism, we discover the importance of not letting our emotions control us. This is not a call to become cold or emotionless, but rather a reminder to practice emotional resilience. When we allow our emotions to dictate our decisions, we often find ourselves facing regret or discomfort. Stoicism encourages us to observe our emotions, to understand them without allowing them to rule us. This gives us a sense of control and stability, a reward that is priceless. Next, let's talk about self-care. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to neglect our physical, mental and emotional well-being. However, Stoicism implores us to prioritize these aspects of our lives. It's not about indulgence or vanity, but about maintaining a balance that allows us to function at our best. When we're in tune with our bodies and minds, we're more capable of handling life's challenges, the reward a healthier, more fulfilled life. Lastly, we come to the power of silence. In a world filled with noise, we underestimate the value of quiet reflection. Stoicism teaches us that some of our most profound insights come in moments of silence. It's in these quiet moments that we can truly connect with ourselves, reflect on our actions, and plan our future endeavors. The reward here is clarity, a deeper understanding of who we are and what we stand for. These three aspects, emotional resilience, self-care, and the power of silence are integral to the practice of Stoicism. They may seem simple, but their impact is profound. They don't just shape us as individuals, they also shape our interactions with the world around us. So as we journey through the path of Stoicism, let's keep these principles close to our hearts. Let's remember not to let our emotions control us, not to neglect self-care, and not to underestimate the power of silence. As we do this, we'll find that the rewards of Stoicism are not just personal, but extend to every aspect of our lives. With our treasure in hand, Let's begin our journey back. Our journey is not complete until we bring our learnings into our daily life. As we transition from understanding Stoicism to applying it in our daily lives, it is crucial to remember the 15 principles we discussed earlier. It's worth revisiting them, not just as abstract concepts, but as practical guides to becoming a true Stoic. Firstly, refrain from negative self-talk. It is the enemy of self-esteem and personal growth. Instead, foster a positive inner dialogue that promotes self-respect and progress. Secondly, let your actions narrate your journey of self-improvement. Actions, after all, speak louder than words, and your growth should be evident in your conduct. Thirdly, embrace moderation in all aspects of life, especially in consumption. 
Overindulgence can lead to imbalance and disharmony, detracting from the stoic ideal of tranquility. Fourthly, follow Zeno's wisdom of two ears and one mouth. Listen more, speak less. Fifthly, focus on the present. It's the only moment we truly have control over. By doing so, we can reduce unnecessary stress and cultivate serenity. Sixthly, express gratitude. It fosters positive relationships and an appreciative environment aligning with the stoic principle of harmony with others and the world. Seventh, avoid complaining. It brings unnecessary negativity and is counterproductive to the stoic pursuit of tranquility. Eighth, learn from past mistakes, but don't dwell on them. Focus on growth rather than regret and remember that the past can't be changed. Ninth, maintain inner peace by keeping some thoughts private. Not every thought needs to be shared and some are best kept to ourselves to avoid unnecessary conflicts. Tenth, seek validation from within. True fulfillment comes from personal growth and inner peace, not from external approval. Eleventh, refrain from gossip. It disrespects the dignity of others and contradicts the stoic principle of respect for all. Twelfth, focus on your own journey and progress. Comparisons with others only distract from personal growth. Thirteenth, practice emotional resilience. Don't let emotions control you. Instead, control them to maintain inner calm and clarity. Fourteenth, prioritize self-care. Your physical, mental and emotional well-being are critical to thriving in life. And lastly, appreciate the power of silence. It fosters inner peace and deepens understanding. Our journey is complete, but the learning never ends. Now that we have returned, it's time to start living as a Stoic. Imagine waking up every day with a sense of tranquility, a feeling of control over your emotions, and a deep understanding of your personal values. This is the life of a Stoic. Living as a Stoic means embracing the principles of Stoicism in our daily lives, transforming our attitudes, our reactions, and ultimately our experiences. The impact of living as a Stoic is profound. Take the example of James Stockdale, a Navy pilot who was a prisoner of war during the Vietnam War. He used the principles of Stoicism to endure seven and a half years of captivity, maintaining his mental composure and surviving the ordeal. Stockdale's story is a testament to how Stoicism can help us navigate life's most trying circumstances. But Stoicism isn't just for periods of crisis. It's a philosophy that can guide our everyday actions, decisions and responses. Consider the story of Tim Ferriss, a successful entrepreneur and author. Ferriss attributes much of his resilience and productivity to his practice of Stoicism. He uses the philosophy to manage stress, make better decisions and maintain a balanced perspective on life. Living as a Stoic isn't about suppressing emotions or disregarding life's pleasures. It's about understanding our emotions, recognizing what we can and cannot control and finding fulfillment in our own personal growth and development. This is the life of a Stoic, a life of self-awareness, self-control, and a deep sense of tranquility, a life where we embrace the present, let go of past regrets, and relinquish anxieties about the future. As we adopt the principles of Stoicism, we begin to see the world differently. We become more resilient, more understanding, and more at peace with ourselves and the world around us, and so our journey ends. But remember, the true journey is the one within. Embrace Stoicism and embark on your own journey towards inner peace, resilience and fulfillment. For the Stoic, every day is a new opportunity to learn, grow and find tranquility in the midst of life's chaos. We promised you a secret, didn't we? Well, here it is. The true secret to becoming a Stoic isn't just about keeping certain things private, but it's a deeper commitment to a way of life. It's about embracing self-control, a principle that sets the foundation for Stoicism. It's about understanding that we don't have control over external events, but we do have control over our reactions to them. It's about not letting our emotions dictate our actions, but rather letting our rational mind guide us. Self-control is about moderation, not being a glutton or a big mouth. It's about listening more than speaking and not seeking validation from others. It's about not engaging in gossip or comparing yourself to others. And it's about not letting emotions control you. In addition to self-control, self-awareness is another key principle. This is about not speaking ill of yourself, not boasting about self-improvement and not dwelling on past mistakes. Instead, it's about learning from them and moving forward, focusing on growth rather than regret. Self-awareness also means not revealing your every thought, as some thoughts are best kept private to maintain inner peace and avoid unnecessary conflicts.
It's about understanding that true fulfillment comes from within, not from external approval. And lastly, living in the present is a fundamental Stoic principle. It's about not being too focused on the future, but rather practicing living in the here and now. It's about controlling reactions and reducing unnecessary stress. It's about expressing gratitude for blessings and embracing moments of quiet reflection to deepen understanding and foster inner peace. So while keeping certain things private is part of the Stoic philosophy, it's not the whole story. The true secret of Stoicism is a combination of self-control, self-awareness and living in the present. It's about not just surviving but thriving in life no matter what comes our way. And there you have it, the secret to becoming a true Stoic. Remember the journey is just as important as the destination.